as Connor continues on into his bracket. An absolute Meanwhile, wave of adrenaline across the crowd. An now, absolute wave of adrenaline. People are smiling. There's, uh, it's just, hey, what are we here for? Some good games, right? Now, here we go, though. We've got a, we've got a New South Wales resident right now. He was originally Melbourne. Now he's, uh, he's converted over to New South Wales. We've got Chip uh, Chipotle. He's going to be playing, I believe, King DDD. So uh, I believe he's the only King DDD uh, on the, in the top 64. And uh, he started off in winner's side. Unfortunately, had to go up against Extra. So did drop down into the losers. But he's now currently playing against uh, a, bit of a bit of a hidden boss right now. He's been playing. He's playing against One for All as well, who is going to be the Little Mac player. Yes, not a not a character you see a lot of, and uh... definitely not. So it's going to be a very very interesting matchup. Two characters who are, I'd say quite rare in uh, in the in the overall scene. King DDD versus Little Mac. And if I'm correct, this should be the last match uh, before we go into top 32. So oh yes, here we go. This is uh, this is the exciting part. Alright, so let's see. Now I'm really intrigued because I know that uh, I know that King Dedede as a character has a fair amount of armor on a lot of his attacks, uh, mainly his down B and his up B as well. Yep. Now Little Mac, meanwhile, has armor on like everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, with such a heavy hitter as King Dedede, I, I'm I'm wondering, you know, how uh, how is King Dedede actually going to beat anything that Little Mac has to offer, well, especially on the ground game too. Yeah, that's it. I mean, well, you got to. Got to get that off stage, and uh, yeah, I mean Gordos. I feel like if uh, if Mac is smart, you know, you just negate them. Yeah, let's see how it all goes though, because uh, if anyone's going to tell us how this matchup's going to go, it's going to be the two players themselves. So let's get into it. Game number one, one for all against uh, Chipotle. Let's get into it. Already the neutral air into the up tilt. Nice. Jumping up with that. Oh, there we go. The F-Tilt again. Such a great and incredibly safe option yep. from our King Dedede. Already going for the up smash. Damn. It could have actually kind of killed on that platform too. You can see that platform uh, camping is something. Yeah, look. It's not pretty, but you've got to do it against Mag. Really good patience oh, wow. there with the run back. There we Just go. The trot back. A hair away from uh, the KO punch as well. Nice. There we go. Waiting out that forward smash. Now, King Dedede kind of has those options for sure. Oh, oh wow. You just cannot hold shield. And there's a taunt. Yeah, rolling behind, just going straight for it. Whoa, oh, dash he's attack takes it back. In turn with the dash attack. Just because, uh, just because one for all has a bit of, uh, has a bit of, you know, a bit of support, Chip definitely has the answers for it. Oh, my goodness. All right, using that uh, Gordo doesn't really do anything. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, just kind of just he running around a little up. bit. Didn't cross it up. Nice, up tilt into up B. Yep. Absolute max stuff. I love the up tilt of the Gordo there. You know, one thing we're going to see a lot of from Chip is going to be using that Gordo as, a, as kind of an option to cover his landings. There we go, beautiful conversion. Getting that Gordo, using the hit stun. Oh, and the yes. forward smash. Oh, but the Gordo saving his life. He still has a jump and counters to come back. And he oh. still has KO punch. He still has KO punch after all of that. All right, there we go. Let's see. I feel like the KO punch at this point oh. is... It? Oh! Don't want to be turning that one around there, champion. Otherwise, one for all is going to be coming for you. It's not a bait. It's real. Two KO punch KOs there from... There we go. But that back air, such an all. incredibly heavy option. Nice. Getting the up smash. The sour spot, unfortunately. Don't know why they added that one in there. Oh, there we go. Again, that back air. Such a meaty hit. Heavy hitters on both sides. Indeed. All right, nice. Rolling away from that forward, uh, forward air. Getting another one, though. Great shield, but oh my goodness, the shield pressure from the forward smash was immense. Now, the, meanwhile, the Gordo, no shield pressure at all, but uh, definitely a lot of shield stun. Oh my goodness, pulling out the jet hammer. It's too early in the game for that, man. Spitting out, getting the up B out yeah, of uh, out very of Very clever, actually, just to... Whoa. I... Getting the up smash. The up air not going to take away from the KO punch just yet. Yeah, and this is... Oh, Here we go, the forward say. tilt saving his life there. Now he doesn't have anything else. Oh, but getting that counter. All right, this is looking pretty tough for Little Mac. Oh, there we go. Back air from center stage. There we go. Chip giving himself a little pop-up. He's happy about that one. There we go. Two characters that you do not see on the top of a lot of people's tier list. Still getting representation, fighting for a spot in top 32. Yeah. And uh, what, an exciting, what an exciting game for it as well. Uh, town and city. Uh, we're going to see, I'd say, a, you know, a few, a few later kills, hopefully. But uh, I think, I think maybe uh, foes just trying to go for a, a couple of those later stocks. You know, trying to just get open, you know, more openings uh, than he was really being allowed. 
in that uh, in that match there because he was just getting killed too early. Uh, despite the fact that he had KO Punch on board. So uh, he might be sacrificing a bit of that for the sake of uh, trying to survive a little bit longer himself. Oh wow, oh, rolling roll directly through. behind the, uh, the inhale there. Nice, there we go. That's a bread and butter, the neutral into the up tilt. Yeah, Reading down angle roller. forward smash. And side beat, sending DD up stage. Nice, landing with that inhale as well, the, uh, the reverse beat. Oh, okay, a fraction of a, a second away from getting that. Oh, uh, wow, jumping up in the counter. On the dash attack as well, that's a lot of damage. Plenty of shield stun and shield damage off any of the forward smashes. Oh, just kind of footstooling that, uh, that side B from Little Mac, Jolt Haymaker. Oh, okay, getting the shield out in time. KO Punch on deck. Okay, just walking straight into it. Oh, wow, wow. avoiding the up air and into KO Punch and another taunt. Beautiful stuff there from uh, One For All. It's such a back and forth game. They're really going blow for Oh, blow. yeah, you cannot armor through that one, champion. That's an up smash from King DDD. King of Dreamland itself. Down to into side B. Reading that roll in, getting the jabs. That's a frame one jab right there as well from Little Mac. A down tilt into the forward, uh, the forward angle to Chot uh, Haymaker. Oh, Just nice. camping some of those uh, extra jumps from DDD. He has an easier time getting back on stage, but you can see that nice, one for all is really ready for it. Oh, what a great Down conversion. Armors through it. All right, the KO Punch still on deck. Oh, no. Oh, oh, facing no. the wrong way. Thank goodness the uh, bit of hit's done there. All right, the forward tilt not coming out just yet. There we go. Getting the back air on that Jolt Haymaker. And Mac having a bit of platform camping there. Oh, he just runs straight into the Gordo. I know, yeah, I was really scared of the back air there. Up air should take it. Little Mac is pretty light. I don't call him Little Mac for nothing. Meanwhile, 112%, a, uh, a straight forward smash, even a forward tilt near the ledge as well, was probably going to kill King DDD. He's a, he's a heavy boy, but Whoa. that Jolt Haymaker calling him out there. Great option, just covering the jump back. Oh, look at that, wow. Oh, looking for that dash grab, unfortunately doesn't get it though. Using those down tilts, up tilts, get things started. Oh, nice. air dodge away from that. Oh my goodness, yeah, again. second one. Yeah, that down tilt into the uh, Jolt Haymaker is not actually true as well. And I think uh, Chips just definitely figured that out. And the B reverse from uh, Little Mac is mixing up. Oh my god, he's going crazy. And he, yeah. and he actually doesn't get punished for it from the stars. Yeah, just too quick in with a dash hack, and it's actually a lot less punishable than you might think. Oh no, goes to the inhale, doesn't get the right direction though. Percentage lead is now in favor of Little Mac, who's also dangerously close to the KO Punch. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Fire back KO Punch. Gets it, that's going to be 1-1. One, one. one for all, fighting back. But uh, Chipotle, the man himself, uh, he's, uh, he's a bit of a comeback king as well. I believe he did the exact same thing yesterday to Andre as well. Took game one, Andre took game two, and Chip managed to uh, clutch it out. That's actually what led him to get onto winner's side as well. So. Uh, Chips, uh, Chips definitely got a bit of power when it comes to making comebacks of his own. Okay. Both back to their preferred characters. Well, you know, I, I think something with some platforms, right? Yeah. Yeah. But this is, uh, this is for all the marbles for this game, though. Three. Game number three, we got Battlefield coming out. Go. I think realistically, you've got to abuse these platforms in this situation here. Absolutely, yeah. Beautiful conversion there, 45% already. Go for the inhale. No, but again, that Jolt Haymaker is such a great option to actually answer for the inhale as well. Because it's got a disjoint as well at the front, so you can't actually be sucked in in the meantime. And you can see one for all is uh, really mixing up the down tilts instead of going straight for the Haymaker. Just following up with uh, maybe a dash in. See if you can get a different type of punish. Oh, tries to go for the grab. Oh my oh. goodness, and he gets the KO punch in time. 63%. This goes crazy on chip right there. Right, nice. Getting the back air in there. Oh, going for the Jet Hammer. Oh, wow, the Jolt Hammer can call him out again. The chip keeps rolling in there, and I think uh, I think One For All is actually kind of being a little bit wary of it, but the forward air catching him all the way up, way up there. Little Mac, what are you doing in the air, you crazy boy? Good jump. I think that was the right option. 
shielding again would have taken some damage. Nice. Spitting out that Gordo there, 21%. Oh, okay. Waiting for the forward smash, hoping that he would actually come in too. Up smash a great option when your opponent's on the battlefield platforms. Very good coverage. Now, 93% on King DDD. You kind of need to be getting a bit of a gimp here, hopefully. Yeah, getting the forward deck, getting him close to off the stage. Oh, no. Yeah. Again, he keeps countering all of those. Uh, all, all of those. Yeah, it's crazy. All the Gordos. I'm waiting for the mix up for Chip next time he goes for that. Oh, my goodness. He's counter on the get up. Oh, oh he's been called out again. Third taunt of the game. Right, now, 40%. Now he is back. Uh, he's behind, but he's also got the K punch almost on deck. He needs to get this kill and he needs it right now. And he gets it. There we go. Jet Hammer straight through the counter as well. Vic versus New South Wales. Oh, massive damage. So much damage in such a short amount of time. 12% though. Oh, landing straight into the jab. 85. What's yeah. King Dedede going to do? What can the King do? Getting that down throw to forward air. Oh no, wow. Such a, such a safe option as well. That forward smash turning the other way. Second Gordo. Did some of those hops. Ooh. Oh wow. Falling straight through the platform. Getting an up air though. Looking dangerously close for the KO punch. Up such angling the forward smash. Great tech not though. the Haymaker. The Echo not fast enough to actually get it. Oh no! Oh, oh it's a very goodness. dangerous spot here. Just getting the normal DDD's far too heavy. Oh no, oh. he's... Oh my god, but he doesn't get punished for it. One for all, both players are incredibly feeling the heat right now. Shield so low for Mag. Oh, oh good, just going straight for the no job. Hey, make up, he's not he's dead! He's still alive! He's not dead yet! With a KO. Oh, getting oh, the inhale, this he's is very dangerous. Out. He's still got the KO punch, what? How's that possible? Oh, the KO How punch! How is that even possible? Oh my goodness, Chip just as surprised. He inhales him, he doesn't even knock out the KO punch. The only person who's going to be knocking out is Chip there. Oh my goodness. One for all, running away with that just towards the end there. Look, quite frankly, I think a bit of luck was on his side there, but geez, Louise with that KO punch, what a set ender. Yeah, a really, really scary place to be in. And look, the battlefield pick probably wasn't used the best that he, uh, you know, could. I think the Mac was doing quite smart to, to use the upbeats, punish those platforms, but yeah, I guess that's our top 32 as far as I know. Absolutely, yeah. Now our chip's still connected. He's got to disconnect his pro controller. There he goes. Alrighty, wow. And with that, I believe, is this going to be the official start to the top 32? I believe so. Here we go. With that, we'll probably take about five-ish minutes or so. I'm not too sure of the break, but I believe that we'll be going straight into it. Here we go. Okay. All right, so for those of you who don't know as well, top 32 onwards will be a best of five. Very excited for that one. Sorry? All right, that's all good.